So a lot of patients ask me about whether there's a special diet for Parkinson's disease and a lot of people are interested in whether there are ways to eat themselves healthier. The truth is that um, whilst research is going on, there is no specific diet that patients with Parkinson's disease should follow. Um, let's get through a few things. Some people will be familiar with the concept of the Mediterranean diet has been reported with a reduced risk of developing Parkinson's disease. But frankly, the rate of Parkinson's disease in patients that live around the Mediterranean is pretty much the same as it is around the rest of the world. So I, I don't honestly believe that there is a great deal that's protective about any particular diet uh, because in fact the rates of Parkinson's are about the same wherever you are, whether you're in the Far East, or whether you're in America, Australia or Northern Europe. And of course they all have varied diets. So the role of diet causing Parkinson's doesn't seem to be all that clear to me. People who've already developed Parkinson's, the idea of changing to take on one of those diets doesn't make a lot of sense either because in actual fact we have no data as to whether changing the diet will actually improve the Parkinson's disease. Some people will be aware about their tablets and the role of protein. And so one of the things that you'll learn with um, Parkinson's tablets is that your chemist, your doctors will say try to take your tablets on an empty stomach and the reason for that is because the tablets are sort of a mimic if you like of the dietary protein that you have in things like meat and dairy. Now the truth is whilst there is probably some uh, evidence to suggest that the tablets are better absorbed on an empty stomach and there may be some competition between dietary protein and the absorption of your medications. The truth is I think it's the wrong thing to cut protein out of your diet. Your body needs protein, it needs it to keep the muscles strong and one of the things that I see in patients especially as their disease progresses is that they seem to lose muscle mass despite whether they're doing exercise. So for me I think keeping a balanced diet and not making any great changes makes perfect sense. Trying to keep the stomach empty or light meals when you're taking your tablets uh, would, would be perfectly reasonable. Just finally on diet, people will come up to me and sometimes in the clinic and say, hey, I've heard on you know, the latest research that maybe I should take this thing in my diet, whether it's saffron or whether it's coenzyme Q10. The truth of the matter is that at this time we have no good evidence to support any specific dietary supplements that you should be using to help with your Parkinson's disease.